Okay, this is Todd King of VideoTutorialTraining.com bringing you the first of many video tutorials. First one, we will be our goal today. We're going to download and install XAMPP Local Server. This is, will be our test bed, our sandbox, as it were. We're going to download and install Joomla CMS. We're going to download and install WordPress. These are the these are the two programs I'll be focusing most of uh, video tutorial training's purpose on. You know how to master, understand, and manipulate to your needs. Um, this one's a CMS. This one's a is a blog, and you know, I'm sure if you found your way to this site or some of the videos that I do, then you'll it'll be obvious to see that. Now, okay, the uh, first thing we want to do is we will go to Google. And we're going to do a quick search for X amp. Oops. And the one we're looking for is going to be Apache Friends. Okay. We're going to go, in my case, we're going for Windows. And I'm going to download X amp. Now, I'm going to download the EXE. Like so. Okay, I would save the file. I actually already have it, so I'm not going to bore you with the time it would take to do that. Next, I'm going to go to do a search for Joomla. And we'll go to Joomla. And we will download Joomla. We're going to download version 1.5.20. This is August 26, 2010. This is the most current version. Okay, I would save it. I actually already have it downloaded. Next, we're going to go to Google, do a search for WordPress. And we will download uh, WordPress 3.0. I already have all those downloaded, so you can see I have them here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install XAMPP. I had it installed before, but I thought I'd just go ahead and install it. Uh, very important, you want to leave it in your root directory, in this case C. Um, Putting into program files will create problems as there's spaces in the uh, in the name of the file directory if you do it that way. So just go ahead and do this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, so we'll wait till it's done. Okay, so the install is finished. The first thing it's going to say, it's going to ask you is. Should I add shortcuts to the start menu and desktop? Yes, it's fine. Go ahead and it's already got the Y there. We'll hit enter. Should I proceed with exit uh, setup? Yes. Uh, we should use should use drive letters too if you want to use services. Okay. I don't suggest you use drive services. So I would say no. It's, that's completely your choice. You can play it any different way you want. Okay, press return to continue. All right, I've set up a time zone. That's not really that important. Uh, should I continue with these values? If any are wrong, just continue. Okay, so here we go. Uh, one's going to start the XAMPP control panel. Two's going to relocate XAMPP. Uh, do, do, okay, no, that's really all that important. We're going to go with one right now. Actually, we're not going to do, do all that right now. Uh, we're going to just get out of here. We'll just exit. So, now here's, here's my downloads. I downloaded WordPress. I'm going to go ahead and just take that off there. And I will rename this to one, like so. Okay. Now, 
the next thing I would suggest right away, it makes life easier for me, go ahead and do a new library. We're going to name it htdocs. Okay. And you're going to include a folder. And the folder you want to include is htdocs. Oh, okay, it's already there. Normally what you do here, let me just show you. Uh, you go to just start out at my computer. Okay, you're going to go into your local drive. You're going to come down to XAMPP. Inside XAMPP, you're going to find htdocs, and that's fine. That's the one you want. So once that's included, now when you go to your libraries and you click on your htdocs, this is your root directory. This is where you, the websites that you put in will be. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag it over here. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag it over here. Okay. Now, when we go to all programs uh, on your start menu I can't really move my screen over there well we'll do it this way here we go let's go back to computer XM okay what you're going to want to do I suggest you don't have to um, control pin this to your taskbar no start menu okay so that way when you start a computer you don't have to go searching for it now we're going to start it up when you hit the this control button here it's going to start this up uh, another thing to mention just while we're on the subject if you use Skype bring it up here if you use Skype go to tools options you go to uh, advanced uh, connection you're gonna see right here normally this is checked okay that will not let your your Apache server start so uncheck that and save it and we'll get out of here okay so now MySQL is gonna start let me start it and Apache is gonna start and once again I don't suggest it use it as a service I've just run into where it, there's numerous complications that I just don't I want it to start when I want it to start and I want it to run when it's when I want it to run. Other than that, I, I don't need it running. Okay, so now we go back up. First of all, let's do this. Now that we've done that, once we go to localhost, local host, we now have a fresh install of XAMPP. I had it on here before, but I've uninstalled it and reinstalled it for this particular. You need to give it your language. Obviously, you've got a bunch of choices there. I'm going with English. And the other thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to security. And you'll see that there's things here that are secure. The reason we're doing the security is because on the installs, it's going to want a password. It won't let you do things without a password. So go ahead and put a password in here that you like to use. change password and we're done okay so now if I go to my local host and the first one will do WordPress okay. actually wait a second my bad uh, that's not correct let's go let's go back to local host. what we need to do is we need to make some uh, we're going to PHP my admin and I'm going to make some some uh, databases Okay, the username for the installer is going to be root. Okay, the password is going to be the password you just put in. And we'll go enter. And I have no, these are the stock ones that come. I'm going to Joomla. And we'll create. And that's fine. Let's go back here. I'll make one for WordPress. And create. That's fine. Okay, so now going back to my htdocs, I'm going to extract this here. I'll let that do that. Now, 
When Joomla extracts, it's going to extract in the exact same structure that you'll need. WordPress is not the same. Uh, let me wait until these two are done extracting. And, okay, so here's the way it works with WordPress. We go into WordPress, and that's right there. So we're going to want to cut this, and we're going to go back to HDDocs, and we'll just paste it there. It's going to say, oh, yeah. Merge them, that's fine. Okay, so now back to this. We're going back to localhost. First one is going to be WordPress. And since we don't see a configuration file, go ahead and make me one. Okay, we got all the information. Okay, database name is WordPress. Username is going to be root. Password is going to be what we used. Localhost. Okay, that's all correct. And run the install. Anytime soon. Okay. That's fine. So now, here we go. And here we have the administration area of WordPress. That's fine. You want it to go see it. There's your fresh install. Okay, now we go to Joomla. And we're going to go through the same procedure. It's already ready to install. We'll go next. And all this is fine. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Next. Next. Okay, host name is going to be localhost. Host root, because that's our MySQL username. Database name is Joomla. So, all right, we don't need that. Site name is going to be Joomla. Email me at me.com. Install some sample data so we have some example there. And okay, now go back over here and you're going to have to go into Joomla and you're going to delete this install file like so. All right, here's our site. So you can see we have a fresh install of Joomla. Click over here to our administration page. Go to admin and the password that you selected, and here we're inside the administration page. And that's pretty much it for now. Once again, this has been video tutorial training. Goal was to download and install XMAP local server, download and install Joomla CMS, download and install WordPress blog tool publishing platform. After all this, we have uh, an understanding of how to install and how to access our local server environment. Thank you.